the night is young and you're sitting around a table with a group of of brave souls they are ready to go out with you into the community that night to bear witness to Jesus and you are thinking hmm like what what Bible verse would be a great encouragement for them and you're thinking first Peter chapter 3 verse 15 you know that this talks about always being ready to give an answer to those who ask the reason for the hope that you have and, and you want your crew to be ready to give an answer and to realize this is what's going to happen in a little bit the question is is that the best verse for that kind of a circumstance? Is, is that the best verse for a situation where they're going out and they have people come and talk to them and they're rather friendly and they're hoping to, uh, and, and the, those witnessing are hoping to give a loving and gentle testimony to the fundamentals of what they believe and they're praying to the Lord for that? Is this the right verse for a situation where, for example, someone is in a hospital bed having suffered with cancer for a long time, the nurses have watched this. One of the nurses comes up to the gentleman and says, like, how can you do this? How is it possible for you to have such a peaceful perspective? Like, what's the reason for your hope? First Peter chapter 3 is certainly all about giving a confession to Christ. But the word that is used to describe this confession is apologian. Now, apologian is uh, translated in, in a number of different fashions. It's translated answer, so be ready to give an answer. It's um, in BDAG, apologian is offered reply as reply, uh, but by far the number of definitions that are given with apologian. Focus on defense, that you are in a situation of conflict, confrontation, and you're to give a defense as you would in a court case. Now, what's interesting is that in BDAG, when it talks about reply, the verse that it offers as the example of that is 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 3. And if you take a look at that, you'll see that even in that situation, though reply could be a reasonable word in the English, the context is clearly confrontation. Paul is giving a reply to those who are judging differently than he is. So, even in BDAG, though it offers that as a definition, the context is still consistent. There's a confrontation involved. And when you look in LSJ, so the Little and Scott lexicon, which looks at classical literature more general, it is, it's, it's consistent. We are talking about a situation of defense. I am giving a defense. In addition, though the vocable itself, it really stands by itself to offer that kind of a definition. If you look in the context of 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, you're realizing this is clearly the situation here. There's no doubt about it. If you look in verse 16, he talks about those who are reviling their good behavior. He talks about those who are kata laleo, kata, they're speaking against the Christians. And so the context here of being asked for the reason for the hope that they have is it's really a challenging a context. It's like, I don't think you have any good reason for the hope that you have. What's the reason for the hope that you have? That's the setting. And in a context like that, God's people are to give a defense. They are to give an apologian. They are to say, actually, um, in the back of their minds, like, we know you're wrong. We're going to gently and humbly try to show you how there really is a solid reason for feeling the way that we do. Now, does that mean that there are no good Bible verses for the person suffering from cancer or from, for a group of people who are not anticipating any confrontation, though? I mean, finally, you want them to be ready for that, too, and maybe you'll use 1 Peter chapter 3 to make just that point. But are there verses which speak more generally about the importance of a Christian always being ready? Absolutely. Uh, take a look at, at Colossians chapter 4, verses 5 and 6, where Paul says you need to walk um, with regard to those on the outside in wisdom, taking advantage of every opportunity. And then he says, uh, your word always in grace, seasoned with salt, so that you know how it is necessary for you to apokrinomai. So here we've got it. Reply, um, any question that comes your way, the Lord wants you to know how it is proper, how it is necessary to give an answer. Yeah, the Lord wants your people. He wants you to be ready for 
any circumstance, a Colossians 4, 6 circumstance, very general all the time, or even if it's a, a 1 Peter chapter 3 circumstance where the, the tensions are a little bit higher, the confrontation has been initiated by the person they're speaking to, and the Lord doesn't want them to be afraid. He wants them to be bold, to be confident in the one who is their master, the Lord of armies, Yahweh. He wants them to be brave and to stand up for the Lord, even when it's necessary to give a defense against those who are opposing. May the Lord bless your witness to the truth, and may he bless your encouragement offered to others as they also give testimony, yes, give a defense for the truth.